welcome to another test of the new changes that patch 7 has brought to Total War Room 2. In this battle I'm going to test the chariots, chariots! against some legionnaires. Now chariots have become extremely powerful in that they are able to completely wreck infantry. They don't stop as easily as they did. Now I'm going to attack this unit on the side here. And when they go through, I'm just going to continue to attack the unit that is on Our its side again. And as you can see, that completely wrecks these units. Now, my chariots did stop because of this cavalry here. But I should be able to get some nice kills still. And they killed 216 men in that short amount of time, even when they were stopped by cavalry. So I'm going to try that uh, same same move again however now I'm going to go up against the nemesis of the chariots which or the former nemesis of the chariots which were the spear nobles spear nobles uh, if they get into spear wall and use anti-cavalry tactics they should be able to stop chariots fairly well however in this patch this is not the case now I'm playing against the stupid AI here, so they will probably not be able to um, make the right adjustments to my chariots. However, it will illustrate the power of chariots quite nicely. Now I'm charging this rear unit here, starting to pick up some speed, and they're going straight through. So I'm going to try to continue to attack here. The men are wavering. And my chariots killed 188 men, uh, even though these units only had the chariots to focus on. So very cost effective use. Uh, this will be a lot more effective in battles where the enemy uh, has a lot more things to keep in mind while the battle is going on. And these were Spear Nobles. Keep in mind that these were very good infantry that are specifically there to kill cavalry very quickly. Now what happens if we put them up against some Pontus Swords here? Now the real power of... or actually, you know what? I'm going to take Oathstorn. These were the nemesis of basically all the previous patches. Uh, if you weren't able to skirmish a build that had a lot of oath sworn, you were in trouble. So here I'm going to try to illustrate just how easily heavy infantry can be handled by chariots now. General! Now of course same thing applies. Um, it's not the best scenario to test in because he only has my he only has my chariots to focus on and I can't really flank and do other kinds of effective maneuvers but still I will try to get some nice attacks going and attack. I'm going to keep them moving try to keep them moving Our general has fallen. and 156 kills so still pretty cost effective there against these old zone although they lost uh, now, I'm going to do the exact same test with some Indian Armored Elephants. And of course, these units won't brace, but since they are so close together and since they will rush in, uh, they might be able to stop the charge. We'll see. Elephants and the ready. So here we go. Ready. Now I'm going to put my elephants two ranks deep to increase their mass. Then I'm going to put on trample on autocast and then I'm just going to charge in. Now watch what happens here. They charge straight through Our the units and attack. come out on the other side. Very nice. Now they are chasing me and so I can charge straight through, come out on the other side, run away. The battle is turning Do the same favor. again. And this is a GG. 300 kills in a very quick amount of time. And I didn't lose a single elephant. Elephants are extremely powerful. Now, 
what again what about pikes pikes should be the ultimate counter to um, elephants and the best pike unit belongs to Egypt because they have the best of everything of course so Egypt are going to bring a unit of Hellenic Royal Guard to try to stop these elephants so let's see how this unit of pikes do against my elephants now I'm not going to do anything fancy here I'm just going to charge the elephants straight at the pike unit Okay, yep, two ranks deep, put them on trample, and I'm just going to charge straight at this Hellenic Royal Guard. So running, Our general is under attack. and now the AI wasn't able to get the pikes up, so that was a very quick battle. Uh, now I will allow him to get the pikes up, so it will be a bit more even here. Maybe, we'll see. What are your orders? Same formation. Now I'm just going to move up a bit slower, so the AI has the time to... Now, in order to administer a bigger morale penalty, you can put these guys on flaming shot as well. Which makes it, makes it much easier to route the enemy pikes. And I'm just going to wait for him to the battle is turning in our favor. activate his pikes. And come on, stupid AI. Well, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look like the AI wants to take out his pikes. I really don't know why. It's fairly stupid. Uh, but I'm just going to charge them anyway. There the pikes are out. And as you can see, even with pikes out, elephants are completely trashing that unit. I'm going to do this test again, since the pikes weren't out from the beginning. Or you know what? Actually, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off flaming shot, and then I'm going to wait for him to activate his... I'm not going to use any arrows, and then I'm going to wait for him to activate his pikes. So, fire it will off, and ready to go. Now, uh, me and Wicked Pirate and Harba tasted it, it, uh, tested this quite a lot, and elephants completely destroy everything on the field. Uh, there isn't really a good counter to elephants other than other elephants or skirmishers uh, if you're able to get off flaming shots and stuff like that but with flaming shots you're really just making them run amok uh, which isn't necessarily going to win you any battles. Our it might be good but attack. here you can see the elephants are charging straight in to Hellenic Royal Guard with their pikes out and they're still doing fairly well, losing some men there but still they managed to beat those Hellenic Royal Guard from the front so pretty good now if I was to go up against cavalry how would they do? so currently some of the best cavalry in the game is these Saka Cataphracts which have also been buffed so they now have 125 hit points and 90 armor. Extremely strong shock cavalry. Uh, they cost about the same or they are 100 uh, denarii cheaper but we'll see how they do against the straight up elephant charge. We await your order. This is fairly straightforward. I'm just going Ready to charge my elephants straight at his cataphracts and he didn't charge I got a charge Our off is under and he instantly lost 30 cataphracts and the battle is over now as you can see elephants are 
extremely powerful. They are hard to kill and they do a ton of damage. Now, if I am putting myself in the position of the poor AI here and I pick two units of elephants and then I'm going to pick uh, Sparta and two units of Royal Spartans. Now I'm going to put my Royal Spartans into Phalanx and let's see if my Royal Spartans with bracing bonuses can stop these rampaging beasts. Royal so Royal Spartans, just going to put them into Pike Phalanx and here we go. So elephants are moving in. This is what it looks like to be a Spartan facing some armored lucid elephants here. And the elephants are moving straight in and plowing through my Spartans. So that unit attack. got the worst of it. But they were able to kill some of the elephants here. And as you can see, these Spartan, Royal Spartans in their Hoplite Phalanx, they are actually able to kill this one elephant unit. Now he didn't charge both elephant units at once, which was too bad, because that was what I wanted to test. But here comes the other elephant unit, charging straight in, still in phalanx. And they're getting stopped somewhat by these elephant corpses, but I am wavering. losing Royal Spartans very quickly. These Royal Spartans, however, are managing to hold quite well against these beasts, uh, even killing some of them, but overall they are losing men really, really quickly. And this really doesn't reflect what an intelligent uh, human player would do, because he would use the elephants quite differently. But as you can see, Royal Spartans got demolished by these elephants. And um, just to illustrate how powerful these special shock units have become here, I'm going to give the AI some chariots, then I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to put the Spartans in um, Phalanx and try to stop the chariots. Keep in mind that a uh, human opponent will use his chariots to greater effect. He will go behind your lines and he will manage to get flanking attacks in and he will manage to keep his chariots running for a lot longer. But what is of interest here is what happens when chariots just smash into a hoplite phalanx. And as you can see, going straight in, and they are stopping. And the attack. chariots are being completely wrecked by these Royal Spartans. And the Royal Spartans, they didn't take a single casualty. So that's extremely good. Now, it looks like the AI doesn't want to attack here, so I'm going to move up. But now I'm going to run towards his chariots. And this is obviously going to be a bad time for my Spartans, because they don't get their bracing bonus and they don't get any help against the chariots. So, when the chariots are continuing to move through my Spartans, they are killing a lot. But, the moment they stop, they get killed. So, Royal Spartans are a potentially... <sighs> one potential way to stop both chariots and elephants. However, if they get charged in the rear or in the flanks, it won't work. So, shock units like elephants and chariots are extremely powerful in this patch. They are not easy to stop. And uh, a good human opponent will completely wreck your units with this. Um, these new shock, uh, shock capabilities of these units. So thanks for watching and see you again.